a seascape painting. This will be a rocky seascape, so let's begin now, guys. So for this painting, we'll be using also uh, our palette knives, so get ready with your palette knives. And the colors, you already saw that during the intro of this tutorial. So let's begin now. Let me underpaint first my canvas. I'm using a canvas board for this painting. So I'm going to get my oxide green, phthalo blue, and then white. More blue and more white. Okay. I'm going to add a tiny bit of um, black to it so that it's quite muted. So I'm going to get the black tiny bit just to gray it down. And maybe again add some white and I'm going to make the horizon up to here. Yeah, like that. So this painting will be quite muted and I really like muted colors guys because they appear more realistic to me. And add white. Like that. So this will be the underpainting for the sea. You can even extend that up to here. that now wash your brush out and then I'm gonna go and do the the sand part to so get your burnt sienna add white add black again burnt sienna add white all right and I'm gonna go here right okay okay I'm using a lot of water because I really want this to be quite hmm you know light in colors again I'm using or I'll be using muted colors so I want the other colors to be quite light all right now I'm just gonna blend uh, and I'm gonna go back to my green light green or muted light green color I'm gonna blend it right here so I will allow the sandy part to mix with the water just like this this is very preliminary so we're not yet doing the water is actually right wash your brush out now i'm just gonna gray the sky so get your titanium white get your black let's just gray the sky here you may or may not do this part because you know it's just gray sky but if you want it quite moody you can change it just like that I just want everything covered even if it doesn't really make a lot a lot of difference or a huge difference like that now get your black paint get your black and we're gonna sketch now where the rocks are so here like that These are just the shapes of the rocks. We will be detailing them later. Or we'll be adding details later. Okay, maybe here. Like that. Okay, another one, a huge one. It's um, 1.30 in the afternoon here, 
so I am feeling quite sleepy to be honest guys but I chose to paint because I know that this will help me get over the sleepiness alright maybe a small rock here And then maybe here so this is quite a rocky beach part which I really like because we'll be doing some waves later so there will be crashing waves I kind of like that all right like that maybe here all right okay now wash your brush out now We're gonna allow that or those rocks to dry because we'll be adding some details later. Okay. Now you can get your titanium white. It's all right if you're using the grayish white, it's all right. And I'm just gonna use the tip of my brush to create some uh, wavy like patterns here again this is just preliminary we're just trying to identify where the waves are gonna go this is not the final thing but this will help us achieve um, you know a more detailed painting which you know I am all about So we're gonna separate the water from the sand. Okay, like that. All right. Just get your white. Okay. So I'm very gentle in doing this. Hmm. Sorry, it's not supposed to be in there. Like that again, just use white, and I'm using or I'm using the tip of my brush and putting um, not uh, not pressing so hard. Like that, creating some waves or foam patterns. Okay, here. Oops, that's quite white. Anyway, we're going to fix that one. Going to fix that one. I don't really like that one. Alright, now I'm going to add more white to my existing muted green. I'm going to add black to that. Okay, I'm gonna darken the farther um, portion of the scene. Just darken it. Like that. Okay, what's your brush out? Now I'm gonna water down the burnt sienna and white mixture that we already have. And I'm gonna add my burnt sienna a little more. And I'm going to water it down and apply it quite randomly here and there. I'm just going to use my fingers to apply it. Okay. Okay, like that. It's alright if the black is mixing. I kind of like that effect. We'll be fixing that later. So as you can see, I'm just using my fingertips. All right, now I'm gonna get more burnt sienna plus black. I'm gonna darken some portion of the land. Okay, 
for the the sand It's like uh, making a vignette effect by darkening some portion of the land like this. All right, wash your brush out. Now we're going to use our palette knife to make some more details in the waves on the wave portion. So just get your palette knife, use the back of the palette knife, and just dab it in onto your white, just like this. Dab, 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 and then. I'm just gonna um, like apply it this way All right so just rotate not rotate make some circular motion like that it's quite it's quite fun and easy though so okay like that Like that and I'm just gonna use the remaining portion up here okay you can use the remaining green color that we have just to create some more texture up here and then make some green so I'm just alternately using the greeny color and the white Okay, now I'm gonna use this tiny, tiny amount of brown. And applying it randomly on the sandy portion or the shallow portion of the, the shore. Right, like that. Right, okay. You can use your ordinary brush this time, get your titanium white, pure titanium white, and just fix some details or add more details here and there. right now for the rocks just use your existing brown brown color and we're just gonna okay maybe add more white so that's quite visible okay get more white right Stab. Right, like that. So wash up a shout. Okay, get your existing brown and make some details. Okay. 
to give some shadows. Use your existing brown and add some tiny shadows down here. Right like that. Okay, wash your brush out. Okay, now get your black, get your black, and outline the rocks. Okay, now I'm gonna get my dark brown, burnt sienna plus black. And we're gonna make some tiny shadows under those rocks. Wash your brush out. Okay, now we're going to use the existing muted green. You can water it down and make some um, blending down here between um, the water and the sand. Like that. All right, now get more white this time. Oops. And add black to that. You just have to gray some portions of the water from afar. Just gray it. By graying it, uh, or in other words, by muting it, it becomes more colors of nature. Okay, now again, white, titanium white, make some more detailing. So I'm going to make some irregular markings at the back to suggest crashing waves. Okay, again, your greeny color. All right. 
right, wash your brush out. Get your titanium white and just insert some white, like water. But very, very uh, light application, guys. that now get your um, palette knife again go back to your existing white titanium white and then just create some foamy effect and even here that okay wash your brush out and get your light brown color let's make some shadowing down here just shadow it's like every foam line that you see, just uh, paint some shadow under it using your dark brown mixture. All right. Get your light brown mixture, get your black, burnt sienna and white. Maybe add more white like this color and you can dab it on some of your rocks Get your titanium white for just a small detailing. Go around the big rock. Okay, wash your brush out. Now, don't wash it so well that you won't have the remain or, sorry guys. <laughs> don't wash it so well or so cleanly that you remove all the white paints. You can use the remaining white paints to just glaze the sand portion to suggest some gloss to that. I mean, you may or may not do this step, but then again, I wanna do this because it's I kind of like the effect All right. just adjust it according to your liking All right. again use your light brown okay and then get your black just Redefine the rock because it's kind of losing its shape. Okay, like that. Okay, add some shadows. Alright. 
get some light brown again burnt sienna plus white and we're just gonna highlight this rock over here and of course sorry about the noise guys all right i'm gonna use the watered down dark brown just to make some um, sorry guys just to make some shadows from afar maybe the rocks some rocks are showing through or peeking through okay wash your brush out and again get back to your light green mixture the one we use for the underpainting and just try to make some blending all right like that and get your black guys get your black but uh water it down okay and we're going to glaze the farthest mo uh, farthest portion of the waters with some black paint but then again it's watered down so we're not really painting it black but we're trying to mute the colors all right like that get back to your green just to this color all right now i'm gonna use my white water down water it down guys and just glaze the this portion that get your brown plus black we're almost done to be honest and again make some or make the corners of your board or canvas quite dark Maybe you can use that brownie color for the rocks as well. Just gonna define the rock. So it's like light brown. your black you can do whatever rocks you want you can actually remove the rocks if you don't want the rocks it's all right Okay, wash your brush out. I'm just gonna get my titanium white and I'm gonna go, oops, the brown is still mixing. And I'm gonna go along the horizon. okay wait guys i just have to bring down the curtains sorry about that <laughs> okay I think this is good this is really good 
Okay, I'm just gonna get more of my titanium white and let's make some more foams. Okay, and for the last step, just get your light brown again, just make some shadows. Just make some shadows. This is nice, right? It's very simple. Okay, get your black. Okay. Okay, some light brownie color. And get some white as well. Just blend. Okay, for the horizon, I'm just gonna get my oxide green, phthalo blue, and then white. Right. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to tone it down. And we're just gonna go and draw a straight line just like that then you can use now more white just to blend it a bit okay more white that just gonna make some more rocks
and I think I have to sign it now because this is done so I'm just gonna get my white doesn't matter if other colors are mixing this is for my signature And I think I just have to fix um, some areas above here. So I'm using my titanium white. Just gonna add Like that. Again, use some watered down black just to mute the colors. Okay, and get some hints of brown, just tiny bit. Gonna lighten. All right, <laughs> this is nice. So I think we're done, guys. We're done, guys. Actually, you can make some more uh, waves using your palette knife up here. I'm using a brownie color just to add some interest maybe because the sand some sand are being washed away so you can color the waves some dark colors as well all right i'm just gonna get more titanium white and you can create some splashes of water by just moving your palette knife vertically like that even here you can do that those waters heating the rocks Create some foams here. I think we're done guys yes this is nice very simple and quite impressionistic i really like this one so thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video shall we see on my next video or shall i edit a little more <laughs> i'm gonna get my black i'm just gonna darken this part because i forgot to add some shadows That's it. <laughs> In here. Okay. 
This is just burnt sienna. And black. So thanks for watching guys that was a lot of fun and you know how much i love seascapes in fact my very first tutorial was a seascape so thank you for watching guys and i hope you do this one during the weekend so have fun and guys oh that's really nice look at that guys look at that <laughs> mm -hmm. mm.